All right, Becky, everyone thinks you need 20 knots of breeze to go kiteboarding to learn something, but we're gonna go out there today behind the jet ski, take out a couple of boards and really improve our board skills. So we want to take a performance twin tip, we're gonna take a kite surf board, we're gonna go out there and learn a bunch about turns, we're gonna learn about stance, riding switch stance, really get confident on the board so the next time that we go out and go kiteboarding, our board skills are 100% dialed. Let's grab our boards and get out there. In carve, we're gonna cover stance, riding heel side and toe side in both directions, carving turns, and testing out new equipment. We've got all our gear, Becky's ready to go, so let's get to it. Once Becky's ready to go and she gives me the thumbs up, she wants to make sure she has her hips close to her heels and she's ready to roll up when she feels that power. As soon as the jet ski starts to pull her, she pushes that front leg and allows the board to come up on a plane. Becky wants to make sure her shoulders are back, her hips are in, her back knee is bent, and her front leg is straight. This is a proper stance. Becky's looking really strong and riding well. She wants to start by practicing heel side and toe side riding on her positive stance. In this case, her left foot is forward, so she's regular stance. Now it's time for a surface 180. While she's outside of the wake in the flat water, she wants to put equal pressure on both feet and then push that back foot around. Once that back foot comes around, change your stance, front leg is straight, back knee is bent, shoulders come back. Now she's riding on her switch stance. Practice carving across the wake, heel side, and then come back around, toe side. You'll avoid sliding out during the surface 180 if you bend your knees and bring your hips lower to the water. If you stand tall, it's gonna feel really awkward and it's gonna feel like you're on a banana peel. Ooh, toe side edge. That one's gotta hurt. Avoid catching the toe side edge by keeping consistent pressure on your heels. Even when you're sliding through that surface 180, you wanna make sure you still have pressure on your heels. During carve, it's a great time to test new equipment. We're gonna try and ride a surfboard. Not only gonna ride a surfboard, but a strapless surfboard. And for all those people to say, there's no way I could do it, it's a lot easier than you think. With one hand on the rope and one hand on the board, push the board around so the board's perpendicular to the rope. With the board in front of her, Becky's gonna put her heels on the board, bring her hips in, and roll up on the board just like she did on the twin tip. Only difference, she's strapless. Once a jet ski starts pulling her, she points that front leg and points the nose of the surfboard at the ski. If she puts too much pressure on her back foot, the board's gonna wanna slip out and shoot out in front of her. So equal pressure on both feet, push that front leg off and stand up. If you're having problems going over the front of the board, you just need to bend your knees more. A lot of people revert back to old problems, so bend your knees, roll up and point the board in the direction of the pole of the ski. With a strapless surfboard, you can practice moving your feet around to find the sweet spot. During this session, you can practice moving your feet around and seeing how it is initiating those heel side and toe side turns. You'll find that after you practice with the strapless surfboard, when you go back to the twin tip, your balance is significantly increased. It's a great tool to make you much more confident on a twin tip. Becky really improved her board skills during carve. Her next step is translating all these board skills that she has into her kiteboarding skills. The board work she did today is gonna make her a better kiteboarder. Thank mm -hmm. you.